let's make a text pop-up effect in Premiere Pro. I'm going to spend the next 24 hours in this house made 100% of it. So here we are in Premiere Pro and the first thing we want to do is select the sound and drag it to audio tracker 1 and then we are going to have a listen to it. Let's make a text pop-up effect in Premiere Pro. And now we want to type in our text so we click on this one, T button and then click over here somewhere and type in your text. And here if you go to essential graphics on the right, so let me highlight it for you. If you go to the right essential graphics, we will be able to see this extra settings for the text. And now we can center this by clicking on this icon, so vertically, center vertically and horizontally, so it's center. And if you want to make for subtitles, then we got this one, align button, if you want to make it for subtitles. So now I'm gonna align this back to the center. And this is the font that I'll be using for this. You can use your own. So now we switch back to selection tool and let me zoom in. So when we go to the corner of it, we can see the icon change and we can, by dragging this to the right or left, we can make it longer or shorter. So I'm gonna make this shorter and it doesn't matter yet because we are not syncing it. We will be doing it in a little. So now by holding Alt or Option, we can make a copy of this just like that. So let me undo Ctrl Z to undo and make this even shorter and make a copy of it. So hold Alt and then drag it, let go. So we make a copy of it, align it and make a few more copies and then type in your text to each one of them. So I'll mute this so I don't see, don't hear the sound and I'll make, I'll change the text for each of them and I might fast forward the video after this. By the way, we can scale this up or down by changing the value of this one. So by increasing it, it becomes bigger and by decreasing it, it becomes smaller. So I'll press Ctrl Z to undo. I'll keep it the way it is. And if you want to add another word to this, say like, just like this one, then we can double click on it and add more words to it like that. So I'll press Ctrl Z to undo. And now we want to have a listen to our audio and each time we hear a new word we want to add markers to it. So I already added markers and you can add it too by double clicking on this one and you can also have a look at the source monitor and by pressing M you add a marker. So this ones are the markers here. You can add a marker each time you hear a new word. And now we can match this by adjusting this according to the markers. So we can either do it by trimming this like that with this icon change, but there will be gaps. So I'll press Ctrl Z to undo. There is a faster way to do that. We are gonna be selecting this one, rolling edit tool. We select this one and we will make So as you can see, when we hover over to the middle of the two text, we see this icon change and this will automatically close the gaps. So for this case, we make this one end here and the second text will start from 
that place from that time and for the third one we hover over to the middle we align them according to the markers and with the smart guides we can be even more precise so just hover over to the middle of the two texts and then drag click and drag to match them together and now we can just have a look at it let's make a text pop-up effect in premiere pro 